Hello everybody, thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to look at 10 400 plus horsepower cars that you can buy today for less than your grandfather's Buick. Now not that there's anything wrong with driving a Buick, but I think that most of us can agree that 400 plus horsepower for this price is definitely an exciting topic to talk about. Before I begin, I do need to note that I've put this list into a bit of a subjective top 10, categorizing them by a few factors. One, by how surprised I was that you could purchase them at such a low price. Two, is by how new they still are. And three, by how much I would want to own one. So I have no doubt that other people would have a different opinion, but nonetheless, I'm looking forward to getting started. Number 10 on the list is the second generation Audi RS4. In production from 2006 to 2008, it came with a 4.2 liter V8 that made 414 horsepower and 317 torques from the factory. It also featured some small changes like a more aggressive front bumper and bigger exhaust tips. But the easiest way to spot an RS4 in the crowd are those massively flared fenders. I think that these cars look great and I wish that Audi would still give a few of their vehicles a wide body like those old RS4s. Do you miss that as well or am I the only one? I think a few of the newer Audis would look fantastic with some wider flares on the fenders. Ninth on the list is the first generation Mercedes C63 AMG that was technically made from 2008 to 2015. However, there were a few different versions of this vehicle in its lifetime, such as the Black Edition and the Performance Plus package that was available after 2009. In this case, I'm going to focus on just the basic C63 AMG without any bells and whistles, but not too many people will need much added to that 6.2 liter V8 engine that these cars were fitted with. At 451 horsepower and 443 torque, it's a fast car by almost any standard. And they make a fantastic noise as well. On to number 8, which is simply a Mustang. Now what you may be thinking is that the past two cars on my list should be ahead of this car. And you're right, it's no surprise that you can get an American muscle car with a big engine without breaking the bank. However, what I was very surprised about was a combination of how new and how inexpensive some of these cars are. Of course, I am talking about the 5.0 Mustang here, as we wouldn't want anything less in a video such as this. But did you know that you can purchase a 2014 5.0 liter Mustang GT today for less than the price of that Regal listed at the beginning of this video? Couple that with the famous 5 liter V8 that turned out 412 horsepower and 390 torques and you've got yourself a heck of a bargain. Number 7 is a personal favorite of mine and a car that seems to almost be standing still in time. Even though the initial production year of this car was 10 years ago, it, it still looks like it could have just been manufactured yesterday. Enter the E92 or E90 BMW M3. Made from 2007 to 2013, the M3 was and still is the only 3 series production Beamer to come from the factory with a V8. The older M3s had a straight 6 and the newer M3s have gone back to a 6 cylinder engine as well. Yes, it has a couple of turbos, but that's besides the point. Regardless, the E90-92 M3 produced 414 horsepower and 295 torques from a 4.4 liter V8. The torque numbers seem a tad low compared to the other cars on this list, but even still, it's an M3 for less than 30 grand. Six is another one that really surprised me, and although it's not a car, it's definitely a great way to take the kids to hockey practice in style. The vehicle in question is the first generation Porsche Cayenne Turbo. I was able to find a few 2010 turbos for less than $30,000. They came with a 4.8 liter twin turbo V8 that produced 490 horsepower and a massive 520 torques. Yes, it's an SUV, but at the end of the day, when people ask what kind of vehicle you drive, how good would it feel to say a Porsche? On to number 5 on the list, and I've gone ahead and selected the BMW M5 for this spot. Not just because it's an M5 in the 5th spot, however, this choice comes with some compelling reasons. The most significant of these reasons is by far the engine, as I'm talking about the 4th generation M5 which was made from 2005 to 2010. These cars came from the factory with a 5 liter V10 cranking out 500 horsepower and 380 torques. I was able to find a number of these vehicles well below the budget of $30,000 and if you're asking me, that's value for money right there. I'm pretty sure that the engine alone is worth more than thirty grand, and you'd be getting an entire M5 for less than that cost. Tough to beat considering they would have been well over $100,000 new. 
Number four circles back to American Muscle, a C6 Corvette specifically. Now don't get me wrong, I'd personally have an M3 or M5 long before I purchase a vet, but the reason that this car is at number four on the list is mainly because they really do stand out in any crowd. Even though you can only get a base C6 VET for the budget at hand, you're still getting a massive 6 liter V8 LS2 engine with 400 horsepower and 400 torques. These LS engines are also famous for being able to handle more power as well, if you ever wanted to go that route. But back to how this car looks, I just find that a VET, specifically the newer ones, look a heck of a lot more expensive than what they cost and add in that it's very easy to find them under budget with under 20,000 miles, I think that's a tough deal to pass up. Now on to third place, which is a bit of a cheater, but just barely, and I couldn't bring myself to leave it off the list. With a 4.2 liter V8 making 395 horsepower and 339 torques, it doesn't quite make the 400 horsepower marker, but I'm going to round up in this case because I'm talking about a 5th generation Maserati Quattro Porte. It's not all that fast, it's not the best looking, but it's so uncommon and classy that I had to include it. I was able to find a few of these less than 10 years old for the budget. Who would have thought that you could get any Maserati in great condition with reasonable mileage for that price? Worth mentioning here as well, Henrik Lundqvist, the New York Rangers goaltender, considered by most to be one of the classiest men in hockey, also drives a Maserati. I had a tough time deciding between the next two because they're both so nice and no matter how old they become, they will always carry an eloquence about them on the roads. In second place is the last and final Beamer on the list, the second generation M6. Made from 2005 to 2010, it came with the same 5 liter V10 as the M5 that we spoke about earlier. And overall, it is basically a two door version of the M5, but for some reason I like it so much more than the M5. It must have something to do with the fact that when people think of a coupe, they tend to think small, light, and agile as there really aren't many big cars with two doors on the market. So when I see the M6, it makes me think that the engineers at BMW were able to have some fun with this car. Because there really is almost no point to buying one other than the fact that it's incredibly cool. Think about it, it's not practical having two doors instead of four on a car that big. It's brutal on gas, you wouldn't tow anything with it. You wouldn't want to take long trips with a family in it, and although it's great to drive, it definitely won't be the fastest on a track either. Yes, still fast of course, but by no means is it a designated track car. It's funny actually, the concept of this car makes no sense whatsoever, yet there is such an appeal to owning one. It even would have been first on that list had it not been for that awful trunk design. No matter how much I like this car, I still cannot get over that trunk. It really does make you think that the only reason it's shaped like that is to make sure that you can fit a couple of bags of golf clubs in the back. Which is why the Mercedes CLS 63 AMG tops the list at number one. Seriously though, a CLS 63 AMG for less than $30,000? That's crazy. The first generation of this car was made from 2005 to 2010, and like the C63, it also had a 6.2 liter V8. Only this version of the engine was tuned up to make 507 horsepower and 465 foot-pounds of torque. What got this car to the top of the list for me was simply the shock value of finding out that someone can buy one for so little. I thought at bare minimum, one of these in good shape would be going for well over $50,000, but not so for the CLS. Granted, there are still many that are selling for quite a bit more, as they have less mileage and are newer, but I did manage to find a couple that were in great shape with under 80,000 miles. It's big, it's fast, and I think that the side view of this car is easily one of the nicest of any sedans ever produced. So this concludes my list of 10 400 plus horsepower cars that you can own for less than your grandfather's Buick. Comment and let me know which cars would make your list. Thanks for watching guys.